The Latino population is transforming the complexion of America in a very dramatic fashion. Uh, it is uh, the fastest growing uh, ethnic uh, group in America, of course, and uh, now the second largest population. But what we're seeing that it is just another uh, part of the American fabric uh, to where American society today is probably the most ethnically and racially diverse in the, in the entire world. And the Latino community is obviously growing and playing a more integral uh, role in the life and work of American society. And so and it's, it's a, it's a, we're on a trajectory that is going to continue uh, over the foreseeable future, uh, well into uh, this century, uh, to where uh, it is probably uh, uh, going to exceed one third of the nation's population in just the next 20, 25 years. And uh, that's, a, that's a huge uh, growth from the time when we were just 10% you know, of the population that we're now we're, approach, we're gonna be approaching 20%. Once you get to 30, 35%, then you have a really a substantial uh, population. So it is uh, transforming the complexion of American society considerably. We're now at a time in history that we've, uh, never, where we've never been before. And that is simply that uh, since the founding of, of the Republic, uh, there's always been a, a one majority group. And uh, we've now after two and a half centuries, uh, that is now in the process of becoming history. Uh, in as much as by the year 2040, that there will be no ethnic or racial group in America that will comprise a majority of the population. We will all for the first time in our history uh, uh, be minorities, and so the nation will be, uh, will consist entirely of minority groups, and all in the same boat, and uh, all hopefully paddle in the same direction, and uh, helping uh, move our, our country forward. The growth of the Latino uh, uh, population in terms of its the economic implications uh, are just enormous. It's a very robust community in terms of its economic growth, its purchasing power, uh, to where today uh, our, our purchasing power of Latinos is uh, approaching a trillion dollars a year. And by this time next year, will exceed $1.2 trillion a year. What this means to American society is the ability to sustain a large part of our workforce. It means jobs for the American people. It means that uh, uh, parents can put a roof over their children's head and uh, food on their table and clothes on their back. A lot of uh, uh, jobs will be supported and, and, and new ones created as a result of the economic growth of the Latino community. Now, in the, as far as the business community is concerned, it is expected that within the next couple of years that our uh, economic output in terms of our business uh, community sales and receipts uh, they will exceed uh, you know, $500 billion uh, a year as well. And uh, so this, uh, as small businesses, uh, provides a great deal of employment uh, uh, to the Latino community. And, but beyond our own community, it, it creates jobs for the non-Latino community. Uh, these are jobs that, that begin at the, at the Latino establishment, but then it, it moves on and further down the food chain uh, creating jobs for non-Latinos. Here in, in Connecticut, the uh, Latino community is equally robust in, the, in terms of its economic uh, uh, capability uh, to where now the, uh, the Latino population of, uh, uh, of Connecticut is generating upwards of $10 billion in purchasing power. Uh, this is a lot of money that Latinos bring to the table. Uh, this is money that, um, that we use to purchase everything we have, buy cars and buy homes, uh, clothes for our children, you know, food for our families, uh, taxes for our municipalities. Uh, this is huge, uh, $10 billion in purchasing power. Our business community is coming along extremely well uh, here in Connecticut uh, as well, uh, generating upwards of $1.2 billion in revenue uh, today. And uh, that is expected to grow dramatically as well within the next four or five years. Going back to the purchasing power that is already approaching $10 billion, it is estimated 
that within the next four years uh, that it will exceed $13 billion. And so while we are going through uh, hard times economically, while, while we are in a recession, um, and uh, Latinos, uh, the Latino community is being affected uh, very heavily by the recession, still we continue to play our part. We continue to work, we continue to pay taxes, contribute and to contribute to the economy of our, of our cities and our, our state, like in Connecticut and this nation.